might not see the outcomes, we might see the clues, but when you plant a seed, it's got to grow before it blooms. Oh. Aloha, sustainable farmer Drew, Garden of Garden, Sacred Herbs and Botanicals, coming at you another episode of whatever you want to call this, G2G TV, yeah, something like that. So, um, here in uh, Oahu, Hawaii, as usual, and uh, I'm going to show you, this has been done a while ago, but uh, it's actually my last week here at this location, um, where I've been for about a year, and uh, I just want to, I guess, end it. Who knows, I might do another one, but one of the last videos I want to do is um, to show you the herb spiral. Um, which is here. Ba bam Like, damn! Um, what is an herb spiral? What's the purpose of this? It's actually a permaculture technique. And, um, there's not much in there now. And I pretty much had to build it without any soil. So, that's why I haven't done a video. Because I've had to build it up over time. And it's pretty good. It's pretty high now. So, I want to go ahead and show you. We have a few kale in there, a kalo, uh, what is that over there? I think a lavender or something. And then a plant I can't think of right now because uh, my brain is dead. But uh, basically you start with the drier uh, plants on top and as you go around it gets wetter and wetter and wetter. And it starts basically from south to north end. And on the northern end of the last end you have your little pond oh uh, we have a big pond so got a lot of life in there which is nice uh, supports the amphibians and uh, you know they eat the mosquitoes and so it's, you know it's a good balance uh, eventually what I'm gonna do today is fill this with mulch so when I leave it I leave it in good condition good hands and uh, it can be planted in at any time So, yeah, herb spiral. Soil built from scratch from um, basically composting and uh, green waste, brown and greens, constantly building, building, building. If I move this, I don't know if I can show you clearly, but you can see all those insects in there. You may not be able to see them, but holy mother, um, there's a lot of insects in there doing their thing, eating away at all this organic matter. Uh, and that's what you want in an herb spiral. Uh, unless you, you have the supplies to build it, you know, the soil and the compost and your nutrients and stuff that you put in it normally. See, I didn't have that, so made do with what I do. So when I do it, it's done. Um, I'll walk over to the pond real quick. show you the herb spiral pond from this angle blam so yeah agua no no alligators gonna bite my hand off but uh anyhow this is the other side of the herb spiral I'm gonna go put the mulch in and um, I'll include a few photos at the end of this instead of uh, retaking the video so the photos, you'll see how it looks like after I fill it up. And uh, you know what I do use a lot is um, all these ground covers I have here. So this is a uh, oil radish. You might know it as daikon. We got black oats. We got wooly vetch. We got oh, oh, uh, sorghum Sudan grass, and we got a bunch of other stuff throughout here that I use as um, green green manures for the compost and then I get all the dried leaves. I usually use the dried banana leaves, crumble them up real nice so the earthworms can bring them into the, incorporate them into the soil, yeah? So anyway, I'm not gonna get into details. I'm sure you could look up other YouTube videos where they actually build these things. I didn't have uh, the resources, one hand, Charlie here to, uh, you know, bam and then Bam, you know, it don't work like that. So, 
It actually took a lot of planning. I found almost all these bricks were on site. We didn't have to, we only bought like 20 of them or something like that. Maybe 30 or 40. But this is over two, 300 bricks. So the rest of them I found. Go figure, it's almost free, G. Anyhow, uh, I wanna leave you with the permaculture herb spiral in Hawaii. Go ahead and put one in your backyard and you can grow an assortment of things. It's basically, I don't know if I said it because I can't remember, it creates microclimates as it goes around. And that's what you want for different kinds of herbs and vegetables. Uh, be careful with certain herbs because they will take over the herb spiral roll. But um, yeah, plan accordingly. Look up the plants that you want to put uh, and you can place them accordingly as the herb spiral transitions down, spirals down. And of course you want the wetter, water loving plants closer to here. You don't have to put this water feature, it's not required, but it does add a nice element to it. The birds also like it too. So it attracts a lot of wildlife if you have it and um, it's a water source for all the Uh, actually, when it overflows as well, it provides water to some of the plants down below. So it provides water for both the fauna and flora uh, in this herb spiral. And don't have to water it that much once it's established, which is cool because it does rain a lot in this area as well. So that's a benefit. Uh, if you are in a dry area, you may want to put uh, drip irrigation or use some of the water here. Uh, you know as it fills up or maybe you have a rain barrel west side no I don't know anyhow I'm gonna leave you with that I don't want to keep blabbering on in the video but I hope you enjoy it I hope you like seeing it and I hope it inspires you to go build one and make one yourself and until the next video if you have any questions go ahead and leave it below you can visit my website not much on it but I appreciate all the comments I'll be happy to discuss whatever you want gardening with you or herbal medicinal plants or wild edible medicinal plants as you know that's my thing and uh, anything gardening related sustainable gardening resilient garden permaculture veganic organics biodynamics you name it sustainable farmer Drew can game it what all right much love peace aloha see the outcomes we might see the clues but when you plant a seed it's gotta grow before